Hi, I'm Danette Bailey, and I wrote this book here called Move, Move, Move. It's illustrated by Jumo Leggins. I dedicated this story to my Aunt Nancy, who reminded me that when I was a child, I loved to write books. Move, move, move. Hi, my name is Nancy. These are my friends, Maddie Monkey, Bailey Bear, and Digby, the dog. We move our bodies all the time so we can stay fit and healthy. We move inside, we move outside. And you can probably see Bailey Bear there run, holding a sign saying, no running inside. We move our legs, we move our arms, we move to play. We move to work. We bend, we lift, we stretch. We jump, we run, we walk, we breathe. These are my friends. We have so much fun moving, moving, moving. We move our bodies all the time and we are fit and healthy. How do you move? Well, I hope you've enjoyed my story called Move, Move, Move. So get moving. Thanks a bunch. Hi, my name is Danette Bailey, and I've written a story here called I Don't Want It. This story is very special to me because it's actually illustrated by my nine-year-old daughter, Jansen Bailey, who attends Vienna Elementary. So I hope that you enjoy it. You know, while you're listening to this story, think about the plot. That is, what are the events that occur in the story? All right, let's get to it. Adeline is my three-year-old little sister. We have lots of fun playing together. She is smart and funny and really well behaved for a little sister. The only problem I have ever had with my little sister is that she used to take way too long to eat and that would take away from our playtime. I remember one time for breakfast, mom made us a boiled egg, whole grain toast, and a cup of blueberries with banana slices. My sister Adeline gobbled up the white part of the egg but she just picked and picked over the rest of the food. My dad told her to eat her food so we could play, but my sister just picked and picked. My mom said, eat your food, Adeline. But Adeline said, I don't want it. After a while, Adeline got up from the table and played cards with me. I could hear her stomach rumble from hunger, but I just kept playing. Then, at lunch, mom made grilled chicken potatoes, green beans, and carrots. It tasted so good. Adeline gobbled up the potatoes, but she just picked and picked over the rest of the food. My grandma Bonnie was visiting that day, and she told Adeline to eat her food so she could play a board game with us. My mom said, eat your food, Adeline. But Adeline said, I don't want it. After a while, Adeline got up from the table and played the board game with Grandma Bonnie and me. I could hear her stomach rumble from hunger, but I just kept playing. Later, at snack time, Mom gave us multigrain crackers with almond butter, orange slices, and a big cup of milk. It was so good. Adeline gobbled it all up. She must have been hungry. Later that day at dinner, Mom made salmon and salad. She put a lemon slice on each piece of salmon. It was so good. But Adeline looked at the food and picked and picked at it. Eat your food, Mom and Dad said. I don't want it, Adeline said. I was worried for Adeline because I knew Mom had made a delicious evening snack of baked apples with cinnamon and raisins drizzled with maple syrup. And Adeline would not be allowed to have any. So I asked her, What's wrong with the food, Adeline? How come you don't like to eat? I like to eat, Adeline explained. I like to eat plain food. I don't want food with colors on it. Why not? I asked. 
because the colors will change the inside of my mouth. I like my mouth plain. I laughed just a little bit. But Addie, I said. I always call her Addie when I explain stuff to her. Did you know that foods with colors have a special taste? Adeline looked surprised. Those bananas and blueberries we had for breakfast were fruity and sweet. The chicken with the green beans and carrots had just the right spice. Oh, said Adeline. Plus, when mom gives us milk and water, that cleans out our mouth. Plus, I like my mouth with the colors. It's fun. Later that evening, it was time for snack, and those baked apples tasted so good. But mom put the toast and fruit from breakfast, the chicken and vegetables from lunch, and the salmon and salad from dinner on the table in front of Adeline. Try to eat something, mom said. I don't want it, Adeline said. I couldn't bear for Adeline to miss out on the baked apples, so I spoke up. Don't you want to taste different flavors? Don't you want your mouth to have a party? I asked. A party? Adeline asked. I like parties. Well, try some of your food and give your mouth a party. All the plain foods are making your mouth bored. I saw Adeline's face make a big smile. She took a bite of blueberry and a bite of green beans, and before you knew it, she'd eaten most of her food. She must have been really hungry. Mom brought over a bowl of baked apples. I'm so proud of you for choosing to try new foods, she said. Adeline pushed the bowl away. I don't want it, she said. Dad looked up, surprised and confused. Why not? He asked. I'm full, Adeline said. Now, Adeline tries all of her food. We have lots of time to play together. She is so smart and so funny and really well behaved for a little sister. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my story called I Don't Want It. Were you paying attention to the plot? That is, the things that happen in the story? Well, discuss it with your parents or your teacher and have a great day. Thanks a bunch.